When I think of circularity for plastics, to me, it's really a hierarchy that we first need to start thinking about reduction, starting at the source. Do we really need to consume so much plastic in the first place? Then about reuse. And only at the end do we think about recycling plastics. So I'm Christian Schiller, co-founder and CEO of Surplus. We are here in Indonesia as part of the Prevent Waste Alliance project to digitize the value chain for recycled plastics. We visited the sites where Waste for Change collects, sorts, and prepares the waste for recycling. Waste for Change's role is to manage the collections underground. First of all, we have residential waste sources located in Bogor, Plaga Pahripan residence. And we are collaborating with the IE to provide the behavioral change methods so that the people in the household can start segregating their waste from the source. And then we bring it to our material recovering facility in Bogor. And then we sort it in more detail in our facility. And after that, we are integrating the data that we are collecting in the ground to the plastic bank applications. What's the plastic bank app? able to provide will be the transparent and the traceability. So we are able to track down end-to-end -end process on who are the individual person that collecting the plastic up until it reach our processors. Every collection member are able to see how are the market price, what are the market price that they are getting, and also where they should bring their plastic up to the processor level. We then went with Plastic Bank to the local recycler where we are right now to watch how plastic waste is turned back into products again. Langgeng Jaya Group is a plastic recycling company. Mostly we focus on PET, but now we're also expanding on PP and HDPE. We try to make many different products from uh, recycled plastic, including pellets, polyester staple fiber, woven bag, and non-woven shopping bag. Working together with Surplus is really about connecting the dot for us. Because in Plastic Bank, we already have the scalable solution for the collection on the ground. And we also already have our own social plastic. And Surplus will make our social plastic available worldwide and global. And I think that's the perfect scalable solution that we need. For sure, digital marketing, digital platform will be the only way to do selling, buying. You cannot do offline in the future, it's impossible. I think 80%, 90% will be online in the future. So in a way, we are solving a fundamental piece of the puzzle, that is how to overcome that fragmentation that leads to this inconsistent quality and quantity in recycled plastics. No human brain can possibly know where in the world what type of waste is currently being recycled and to which quality. And Surplus has the vision of giving exactly that to any procurement manager around the world. So basically just typing in, I need 10,000 tons of this type of plastic, give it to me. And Surplus does the rest, sourcing in the background, connecting the networks of suppliers, ensuring the quality, the shipping, Basically, the one-stop shop of circular plastics. That is what surplus is for the circular plastic economy.